So here we go. It's a comparison of the performance using a 240 gig Vertex 3 Max IOPS Edition SSD on a Marvel SATA 3 controller versus an Intel SATA 3 controller, the native Intel. So uh, these are the differences. Here's the Marvel controller, and here's the Max, IO, Max IOPS Edition on the Intel controller. This is the non-Max IOPS edition. And here's the ASSSD results. And here's it of the Intel controller, the Marvel controller. So, uh, and just so you know what the difference between these two are, this one is using a default random data, which is less compressible. This one is using uh, z more compressible data, just zeros. So it's highly compressible. You'll tend to get higher results on it. Although you see the limit, the glaring limitation of this, limitations of the Marvel controller, don't even let it really shine in any way. It's virtually identical uh, in both areas. Um, Marvel controllers don't give you the full six gigabit that it's limited to five which usually ends up being lower than actually uh, lower than that <clears throat> uh, if you look over here uh, this is the uh, the same thing this is the uh, random uh, which is less compressed oh no uh, this is the less compressible one uh, the random this is a sec a second pass doing uh random and this is the all zeros but as you can see the read in especially the right performance is where it really you really see the difference between the two I mean look at the humongous difference in right performance on an Intel controller the native Intel SATA 3 6 gigabit controller versus a Marvel controller that's on your motherboard so night and day difference and here is the ASSSD results using the Marvel controller. Sequential, 358, right, completely crap. You can do that with a hard drive. Um, these numbers are fairly similar, though, to the Intel controller, though. The Intel, the 4K read is 17, then 44 right. So pretty much the same read, a little bit slower right and the 4K64 it's still quite a bit faster on the Intel controller Marvel controller than the right over 200 more than double the performance with as the uh, Marvel controller so hands down Marvel controllers suck if you want to use uh, a good SSD on your motherboard use it on the native Intel controller uh, and it doesn't pay to use a hard drive on an Intel SATA 6 gigabit controller even if you have a SATA 3 hard drive because it really doesn't take advantage of it. But for SSDs, it absolutely does take full advantage of your uh, controller's throughput. Um, if you don't have a SATA 3 on your motherboard and you want to really get the full advantage of it, you'll want to go with a higher end uh, RAID card like an LSI or an Adaptac. Or I think some high points can also Anything over the $100 range will give you the full performance for an add-on card if you do need good uh, performance. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, Intel wins hands down without uh, question. Uh, my next video will feature the two of these, uh, my two of these, I have two, as you'll see, uh, in RAID 0 configuration, and we'll see how the performance is with that, and I'll be using a 32 case drive. Please, so please like and subscribe my videos. Thank you.